Good day, good people, and welcome back to my channel. Now, today's video, I'm not going to hold you guys for that long, but there are some things that I want to get into. But before we get into all that, if you're not subscribed to the channel, hit that subscription button. Hit that notification button and bell so that we can be notified every time I'm dropping a video. Hit the like button, hit the share button, and as always, drop a comment in the comment section. Now, let's get to today's video. Now, like I said, today's video won't hold you guys for that long, but there are some things that I definitely want to get into when we're talking about this Simmons clan. And I'm talking about Kamora Lee Simmons and her two daughters, and they're talking about Russell Simmons. Now, Russell Simmons has been out of the loop for a while since all of these wild and crazy accusations have been brought up against him, and I believe that they are true. Ben believed it because Russell's been weird ever since I've known Russell to be Russell. Russell has allegedly been sending mean, rude, disturbing text messages, uh, FaceTime videos, angry and shit with his children, especially um, with the, the, the kids that he has with Kamora Lee Simmons. He has been sending them rude text messages when he gets on FaceTime. He has been very angered and triggered. You can see they, the children have been fucking screen recording him as of lately when he's been calling them and they have had his face in these videos and the way that he is mouthing off these words you can definitely tell that he is angry and he's yelling and he's cussing there's no volume or you know when you are screen recording a facetime video there's no volume in that whatsoever so we can't hear what he's saying but the looks of his face you can definitely tell what he's saying and he's blaming these children cutting he's been cut them off you know what i'm saying from the financial aspect of it um if you're listening to the children the children said that he cut them off when they were 16 and said that their mother kamora lee simmons robbed him of over 250 million dollars so when they are asking him for help with money and stuff, he's telling them to go ask their mother because she robbed them. And the children are telling him, Dad, we want to stay out of y'all legal legations. Leave us out of it. We don't have nothing to do with that. That's between you and mom. And he's steady throwing his daughters into this mix. But the daughters have come to a, a halt. Them and Miss Kamora Lee, the mother, they have had it. They said that Russell has been doing shit like this for years. They have not been talking about it because they have been trying to, you know, they don't want to talk about him. They don't want to put nothing else bad about him out in the public. He already has so many things bad going against him. How are you a person who is at the top of your game with Def Jam and all these different type of ventures and comedies, you know, comedians and, and shit like that and clothes and shoes and stuff like that. And... For the last 10 years, this woman has said that she has been paying millions of dollars to help keep him supported. Now, he I don't know what he's talking about with this $250 that she took, but I'm going to say this. No, I don't feel sorry that this nigga has his money taken from him. You know why? He was messing with Kamora Lee when she was 16 years old. He was already 33 years of age. You had a child with this woman. You had two children with this woman. When you start, the, the things that have come out about Russ... Uncle Russ, and for people to have paid attention to him back in the day and knew that he was messing with this 16-year-old girl and didn't say anything about it because she was in the modeling world, that don't mean nothing. There's children who model all the damn time. And last I checked, when you're 16 years old, you're still a minor. You are not an adult. You're a minor. So this shouldn't have been going off in the first hitch. So even after all that, you know what I'm saying? Like, this is what you have to embark on when you are a person of some stature and you have some money and stuff like that and you take a chance even though kamara has her own money when you take a chance and you have children with these people what did you think was going to happen and you owe her for those two damn children that you had now all this extra shit that he got going on where he's you know in bali or wherever the hell he is because he's on the run and on the hideout allegedly for all these things that they got coming up against him i don't know what all this, I, don't, I don't i don't really know about all that i know what i read but I know that for a while now, it seems like Russell has been going down the rabbit hole. He's been going deeper and darker and just like, dude, what is going on with you? You can't tell if you're going left or right. So to see these text messages that he sent to his children, to hear about how he's been making threats towards the family, 
And I'm just going to say this. If he really was taken for $250 million on top of all the extra shit that he got going on, that would make a, a person, you know, tri trip out and lose it. Clearly, that's a lot of damn bread. But you don't take this out on your daughter. This is one thing to go at the mom and to be going back and forth with her to court and stuff like that. But you don't involve the kids and you don't tell the kids your mom took all this money. Go ask her. You, you don't you, you don't do stuff like that, especially when you have two daughters that have been reaching out to you and have been still trying to have a good ass relationship with you, regardless of everything that these kids have heard in the in the media. And I feel sorry for these celebrity kids, a lot of them. A lot of times people are, I feel sorry for the parents of celebrities. No, a lot of times I feel sorry for the children of these celebrities because they have to hear all this negative stuff about their parents all the time. It doesn't matter if your, per your parent is a billionaire or whatever the case may be. If you have a good relationship or bad, you don't want to hear people talking about your damn parent on the internet. And you know, once one person picks it up and, you know, picks up a story and start talking about them, that leaves the door open for hell of people to start talking about your parent. You, you don't want that to happen. I don't know what's going on with Russ, but like I said, he's been going down that rabbit hole for a while now. He definitely needs some help, and hopefully he'll leave these damn kids alone at least. It's one thing to go at it with the mom back and forth to court and stuff because you want your money that you said that she took, but I don't understand how she got the money in the first place. That's another thing. Y'all drop a comment in the comment section and let me know what y'all think about this, and I'm going to catch y'all on the next video respectfully. Which I believe you should. Um, but he was saying to the guy, like, I'm so rich, I got this and I got that, and I'm this and that. None of that could be further from the truth. You know, he has turned around, and then again, I have records and evidence of this where he's told the kids, in writing, we have it, text messages, I'm broke, I this, I that, I can't, you know, go get it from your mom. Now, meanwhile, I have been financially carrying this person probably for the last at least 10 years, myself and my ex-husband. Again, this is all proven with receipts, so if whatever somebody doesn't like what I'm saying, you know, we could talk about it. We can come, we can open up our receipts. I, I love it. I love receipts. Um, but I've taken care of this person to the tune of many, many, many millions of dollars to help with their bills, their overhead, their companies that they run into the ground, their unsuccessful bids, all of their stuff. Um, I don't necessarily speak for my kids, but I think I could take probably a good shot at it. They're sleeping right now because it's not even 8.30 in the morning. But my two oldest girls, they're young women. They're young women of the world. Um, I think that was a very, that was very tough for them that their dad like kind of cut them off and cut off conversation and cut off try helping them. And he's even said things to them like, why did you go to college? You shouldn't have gone to college. You wasted that money. You could have saved it. While I'm up here trying to hustle the kids over the finish line. My kids, we didn't just go through a divorce. We went through this divorce, I don't know, 20 years ago, 20 some odd years ago. So this is not a situation. Again, you can get receipts. You can go see where they say like, oh, kids been brainwashed, but we've been fine up until these past several years. So, you know, what happened? All of a sudden now the kids are brainwashed. All of a sudden now these young women who are grown women are babies. You know, you they, they have their own relationship with you. You have their, your own non-existent relationship with them. I'm just asking that you please leave us alone. You know, I've tried to go to lawyers and get help. I've tried to show all the crazy texts I've had to block. Like, you do crazy shit, like send pic pic flowers to yourself and take a picture and send post it on the gram and tell everybody I sent you flowers again I have received